Hello again, YouTube. Lauren here from Patches of Grace. Thank you so much for stopping by again. Just before I get into my beauty haul, I just wanted to thank all those who watched my past two videos. Those are my first two uploads here on YouTube, so thank you so much for being supportive. If you'd like me to continue making videos or if you enjoy watching, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel just so I know I'm on the right track and I'll keep posting videos for you guys. So let's get right into it. Today I have a beauty haul from CVS. I went yesterday after work to pick up a few eyeliners from CVS and they had a lot of buy one get one half off sales. So I not only picked up the eyeliners that I went in for but I thought I'd pick up a few products just to stock up as well as try some new products that I had never tried before. So I'm going to get right into it and go through all the products here in this goodie bag. So I'm going to start with the products that I actually went in for and those were the Milani Liquid Eye Eyeliners. So these are pencil eyeliners that have to be sharpened. These are by far my favorite drugstore eyeliners. I've been using these for years. So I picked it up in the black shade and the brown shade. I use these along my waterline. They are great for just a quick line when you're just running out the door and you just need a little bit of color. They go on super smooth. They are waterproof and paraben free. They run you about $8 at CVS, but again, I got them buy one get one half off. So they're a good deal if you can find them on sale. I know that some Target stores carry Milani and it's a little bit cheaper at Target stores than you would find it at maybe your local Walgreens or CVS. But either way, they are a very good deal. They are much cheaper than maybe the Urban Decay liners and I'd say they work just as well. The next two items I have are from the L'Oreal line again. So all the L'Oreal products were buy one get one half off. So I picked up a new liquid eyeliner. This is the Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. So you can see I haven't yet opened it, but I'm always looking for a good liquid eyeliner. Something that is a good formula from the drugstore to try out. I've yet to try this one out, so I thought I'd give it a try since I needed to buy two products to get the buy one half off. So I can let you know my thoughts after I've used this for a while. Just leave me a comment in the info box below if you want me to do a review of this maybe toward the end of the month. So the other product that I picked up from the L'Oreal line is the Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen Blackest Black um, Volumizing Mascara. That's a mouthful. So it just looks like this. The applicator reminds me somewhat of the CoverGirl applicators. It's a little bit more chunky and fat than some of the more um, skinny brushes that might be used for a more defining mascara. This is definitely more for volumizing. I thought it worked really well. I like the formula. It doesn't clump up. Um, it goes on very liquid. It's very wet at first and then it dries really well. Um, it holds my curl all day. Today so far I really like it and so um, I'll continue to use this for a while. Next, I picked up the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. I hear lots of great things about this product here on YouTube, and so I thought I'd give it a try. It's literally only 3 bucks, so you really can't beat it. Plus, I'm a big fan of bronzers that are matte. I do like matte bronzers without any sparkle or shimmer. I just think they go on better, and they don't end up looking sparkly on the skin. So I used this this morning. I actually really like this. So I'm really glad that I gave this a try. If you're looking for a really good solid matte bronzer, I would say give this a shot. Um, it has lived up to all its hype here on YouTube. I'm really pleased with this product. And for only three bucks, you really can't beat it. The next product that I picked up here is this Wet n Wild Trio of eyeshadows. It's in the shade Spoiled Brat. And I actually bought it just for the bottom color here. It is a beautiful matte bright fuchsia color. So what I actually like to do with bright fuchsias, pinks, purples, I actually like to merge those with a smoky eye. So I'll put a pop of pink underneath maybe a smoky brown or a smoky gray mixed with black eye look. And I find that it gives a very unique kind of a bright undertone to those smoky looks and I really like the way that that turns out. So if you want to see a tutorial on how I do that or maybe just some pictures of finished looks where I've done that, just go ahead and leave me a comment in the info box below and I'd be glad to do that for you guys. So I picked up two Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquers. I've heard good things about these here on YouTube as well, so I wanted to give them a shot. I got the pink one or the more mauve one, it's in color 101 and that's Celestial. And then I got another one which is a more coral orange shade and that's in Luna. So I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys. The formula is really good, it's not too thick or sticky. I'd say the only thing that was a little off-putting was the smell. I'd say that they don't smell as great as some of the other 
um, liquid glosses that I have, but it is not it is not anything overwhelming or overbearing. This here on the side is the Luna, and next to that is the Celestial here. So you see the color payoff is really good. That was only one swipe, and you're going to get a very opaque color on the lips. It's not at all a gloss, um, so it's not going to have a sheer application. It's going to be a very solid wash of color, almost like a liquid lipstick, I would say. And last but not least, I know that I cannot go into a Target or a CVS or any type of drugstore for that matter without picking up a nail polish. It's kind of a problem for me. So I picked up Essie's Cute as a Button and it's just this beautiful bright pink coral color. It's almost a neon coral. I know it's not translating that way on camera, but it's just a beautiful shade for spring and summer for my toes or my hands. I think it's going to look really good. So I have it on right now so you can see. The color is like a hot orange, almost hot coral color. And I think it's going to be perfect for um, spring and summertime. So that is it. Those were all the products that I picked up on my CVS haul. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that I'll continue posting videos. Hope to see you soon. Bye. My favorite eyeliners, um, uh, a L'Oreal Linear and linear intense a l'oreal linear and like application oh someone is calling me one second